understand that what is this project management all about and how we are already implementing in our daily lives. So once you have defined your problem that yes, I have to uh, do a birthday party for my parents, then how are you going to solve this problem? So you have to define your requirements that um, in the birthday party, exactly. So what Azhar and Ashfaq is saying, exactly. So he has got all those sort of options. So that is uh, the- Sir, I think Azhar say something, I think one something. something. No, no, Izhar okay. is saying that he is the mastermind of the highest professor. So that mastermind is basically, well, so he, this project coordinator really struggle a lot. If he needs any resources or any approvals, he has to ask from the relevant team. I need this, this, uh, this staff. Can I take him? If this functional manager thinks that no part of integration management and once on July 3rd, once all the activities has been done, you have conducted your closing ceremony, the project is closed. So this integration management runs throughout the project. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is uh, he's your... mentioning, you document that stuff, that these, the, what is your requirement? So what you will ask that person, what is your main aim to achieve this project? What are your activities? What are the constraints that you feel that we may face in this project? Who will be the steering committee for this project? Who are our Certain key other risks as well? So, okay. So we can change the timings and venue. So now, based on this, it's a very easy reply that, yeah, we can change the time and venue. But as you know that your athletes have came from different cities. Start your registration at that point of time. You are announcing that from uh, April 1st onwards, we are starting our registration. So from today on today till Ma April 1st, you are doing your soft launch where you are continuously announcing through TV, billboards and uh, from Fantastic. radio in order to create a schedule. Then the next process is sequencing of tasks that uh, what are the order of activities in sequence they must be performed so if we just go into the previous example if we say that first we will create the rows you will provide in your predecessor or in your uh, yeah number of predecessor and the dependencies this is how your project will start work on it if for any reason your start date has been changed that you have not started writing your draft from 21st of March, you are saying that I will start writing my estimated, what is your budget? Then under cost control, you create a variance. So for uh, assumption, assume that uh, for uh, marketing, the design work, you believe that it may cost uh, $1,000. But when you uh, got the quotation, in uh, quality management, uh, what you do is uh, you have to prepare a quality management. You you should you plan a quality management that how your program will look like, what would be the deliverables, how uh, we will manage them, and how we will control them. So under plan quality management, you identify the requirements, and then uh, these are the activities that you have already done, and it will give you a proper idea that yes, whatever we are going to implement will give us a, give us a success. And in order to run effective meetings, uh, and if you want that your meeting should be a productive one, then you have to identify any problem. issues, then either correct it or prevent it. So you have to take all the relevant actions. And the last part is the project closure. So once you have done your project, you have implemented everything, the implementation is done, um, traditional one, where you have to create your business uh, data requirement completely and it has to be signed off by the user. And then you have to create a design document and so on. Whereas in agile project management, as soon as you complete a little part of your, your requirement, you just deliver it to, uh, you and ask, you'll move on to the build phase and so on. You also provide your effort that how much time will it take? What would be the impact? And on which area this impact will be, will have to be done. Okay. 
this is some this is another example of the Ken Ken Van wall. So uh, CAPM is regardless of your career stage, the certified associate in project management C CAPM is an asset that will dis distinguish you in the job market and enhance your credi credibility and effectiveness working on or with the project team. So the prerequisite for CAPM certified associate. In <laughs>